This is WLW Radio, Cincinnati, at 12 noon, Eastern Standard Time. Is there a teenager in the house? She'll appreciate a phone of her own in decorator color. For full information on teenager extensions, call the telephone company in Cincinnati, dial 396-9900. Prizes awarded on this show are furnished to us in exchange for advertising. WLW Radio and WLW Color Television welcome you now to Ruth Lyons' fabulous 50-50 Club. Quite a distance from the far south, huh? She's never seen the show before. Wait, wait just a minute. I've got to find out what the, this woman's been in Africa for the last 25 years. How come you've never seen our show before? Why, a lot of people watch us down there in Lexington. Well, we can. You have a, do you have a television set? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe she was looking in the radio, you know. That can happen. We don't well, get it good. Only on a nice, clear day we might get you. But well, now, we have so much mail from people in Lexington that see the show and know all about it. I wish you'd buy a television station down there so we could get you. Buy good. another station. and so. All right, we'll do that. We'll buy another station in Lexington. What are you looking so happy about? You're here with all these women? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine. How What's are you? your name? Bill Whale. Where are you from, Bill? Uh, Amelia, Ohio. Amelia? Yes, ma'am. You came with a bunch of women, huh? No, my mother. Oh, just your mother, mm -hmm. huh? Well, nice to have you here, Bill. You in school? Yes, ma'am. What grade are you in? Ninth. Ninth grade? Yes, ma'am. Well, now, don't look so worried, Bill. Everything's going to be all right. Nobody's going to harm you or upset you. Give him a necktie, Bobby. One of our Bo Brummel neckties right off the bat. <laughs> What are you so dressed up for with the orchid? It was a complete surprise. I, my husband sent it, my 12 children. Your husband? How many children? Well. <laughs> oh, my land. Stand up, stand up. 12 children she has. And she looks like a teenager. <laughs> How old you. are they? From 2 to 20. From 2 to 20? Mm -hmm. Isn't that remarkable? A darling? I think she is a darling. Same year you were. Married the same year I was. <laughs> 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 
There seems to be some difference of opinion here. Or shall I say activities? Just oh, looking good for one meal at her house. A jar of Skippy peanut butter? Yes, one meal. Yeah, one one meal. meal, yes. One jar a day, huh? Yes. Oh, isn't that cute? Twelve children. Where are you all from? Finney Town. Finney Town. Hill. Hill. Where else? Hamilton, Ohio. Hamilton. Where are you from? Newport. How about you? Port Thomas. Port Thomas. Newport. How about in here? Where? Hamilton. How many from Hamilton? Let's see. Is that a club? Just a group of friends? Who else is here now? Deer Park. Deer Park. Pleasant Ridge. Pleasant Ridge. Oakley. Mount Healthy. Good. Grossbeck. Huh? Somebody from Georgia. Who's from Georgia? Who's from Georgia? My goodness. She flew up last night? Well, my goodness, I must say hello to her. How nice that is for her to come. Uh, did you used to live up here? Yes, I just moved down there in June, and I came all the way up here just to see you. Well, today. I want to welcome you, and I hope you have a nice visit with us. I will. What's your name? Mary Duchilli. Mary Duchilli. Yes. Nice to know you, Mary. Glad, Glad you got to come. I am, too. Hi to her uncle. Let her say hi to her uncle. Uh, I have a lot of sick relatives, and I'm gonna have, I don't know whether I'm going to have time to see them all while I'm here. Either. Well, sure. What's his name? Well, Uncle Johnny, my cousin Michael, and I've got them all. <laughs> Is the whole family sick? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty many of them. Family, huh? oh, and do you bad. know that my husband, whenever I'd say I'm on the uh, tele, you know, looking at you over tele uh -huh. uh, television. Not on the telephone. You no, can't see we have a television. colored television, oh, and it's do? beautiful. Uh -huh. He'd say, oh, my lands, listening to her. Do you know now I can't get him away from there? I do that to men. He man. says, Ruth grows on you. I grow on him. <laughs> like a wart? <laughs> Is he retired now or what? No, he's home. Uh, he just got out of the house. Oh, he's been ill. Uh huh. Well, and I hope we home. can cheer him up a little bit then. Oh yes, he's crazy. About What's him. his name? Johnny Sanciola. Johnny Sanciola. Uh, well, he give always him my sent you the bananas. You? Well, he'd like but me he before likes... you knew it. He liked me before you knew it. He just didn't want you to know it. You know that? That's right. That's right. I have a lot of hidden admirers like that, you know, but their wives don't know about it. And it's better that they don't know about it. Would you like to hear good news? Yes, I would. Well, we have the Secret Sisters Club. They're former members of the Junior High PTA. Yes, that's Newport. a group I talked to here and they some gave, over here. They gave, as a group, $29. Wonderful. Other individual contributions, one hundred fifty-five ninety. A total from the audience today of one hundred eighty-four dollars and ninety cents. Well, wonderful. Ten pennies, Clifford. Oh, <laughs> I was going to take a dime away from Clifford and make that an even dollar there. You know, yes. But let's see what our how our total stands today, shall we? Now I have to appoint somebody every day to remind me at the end, near the end of the show. That man was so cute the other day. All I wanted him to do was to remind me, you know. But he got up and made the speech himself. What the total was. Now who wants to be the spokesman today? Right here, over here. We have a volunteer. Now somewhere near the end of the show, for the people who don't get to tune in in the beginning, you see, you get up. I don't care what's going on. Just stand up, and I'll come over with the microphone, and you announce the total for today in the Christmas fund. Will you do that? Yep. What's your name? Virginia Williams. Where are you from, Virginia? Northbrook. North Northbrook. Mm -hmm. Don't forget it's now. a good idea because I listen to you every day on the radio, and I hardly ever watch you. Yes. And at the end of the show, I never know what the fun is. Well, we always announce it on radio at the beginning, but yes, some people I may not hear, not, not turn, tune in right away, you see. All right. You heard some good friends of yours, too, today. Was that to mention that? Yes, we had some wonderful donations. We had a wonderful donation from the Prish Drive-In Restaurant, you know. Land. I've paid for all those uh, hamburgers I've eaten there in my time. They do have beautiful products, you know. Did that check come you know. from the big boy? Came from the big boy and the brawny lad. Wonderful check from them. A lovely check from one of our uh, agencies that we deal with, Mr. Chester Moreland, who handles the CERTA account and the Coca-Cola account. He always is a very generous contributor to the Christmas fund. And uh, also from, you brought this one in, Bobby. Yeah, from Pete out at the Fireside Restaurant in Mount Healthy. In Mount Healthy, the Fireside Restaurant every year 
they remember us, you know. Sure do. And we're getting not, lots of nice donations, lots of groups that are going together instead of sending Christmas cards. Now, I'm not trying to put the Christmas card people out of business or anything, but many of them feel that they see the people they work with every day, you know, and they would rather contribute the money to the Christmas fund than to buy cards and mail them to the people that they work with. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them have done that and pooled their money and sent it in in, in a nice contribution. Speaking on the other side of that, the man from whom I buy my cards each year is Bernie Dabney here in Cincinnati, and the other day I placed my order and gave him the check for the cards, and he said, now I know what my contribution will be to the Christmas fund. Every year when I buy my cards, he takes the whole check that I pay him for the cards and donates it to the Christmas fund. Oh, how nice. Oh, there are many nice things being done, you know. Let's see how our fund stands today. Now, yesterday, which last year, a year ago yesterday, was Thanksgiving, as you know. I've gone through that all this week. I'm sure you're aware of that by now. But uh, we were 153,000 yesterday uh, against 150,000 last a year ago, you see. So we were very, very pleased with that. And the girls are going to work tomorrow, uh, you know, the, girl, the extra girls, because they feel they want to get as much of this mail open before Thanksgiving Day so that everybody has an opportunity to be in there for the drawings for the wonderful gifts. Let's see how our fun stands today. $160,524.68. Two cents, Clifford, two cents. And another dime for that uh, contribution here. Dime, Robert. I only have a quarter and change. Well, we'll take that. That's all right. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, uh, you see, next Thursday is the first big day, the first big uh, telephone day, where we make four, 40 telephone calls, and all these beautiful gifts will go out to our people who are making the fun possible again this year. You know, this morning I was talking to a friend of mine, and uh, he said to me, if you should ever leave the WLW or leave the 50 Club, what would happen to the Christmas fund? I said, don't ever mention that to me. Don't ever say that to me if you don't want me to just crack up and die. Now, I'm sure that uh, somebody would carry it on because it is a, such a worthwhile thing and it has done so much and meant so much to so many hospitals and sick children. But uh, I, 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 just, uh, I don't even like to think about that, you see. I'm like Scarlett O'Hara. I'll think about that tomorrow. Today I've got something else to think about. It's not so much good, though. I can, I can see where they would uh, think about that. Seriously. I guess so, yes. This man mentioned this to me. He said, that you can't go on forever. I said, who said I can't? I refuse to die. <laughs> I, I just have too much to do here. I can't... Uh... Maybe you could contact that woman, that doctor, then Dick Tracy. I don't know about that. You don't read that? No. Well, she has discovered a way of taking a young heart and taking it out of a young person, and they put it in some kind of lead thing, and then they can they can transplant that into someone who's older, and they're young again. they got a man 92 years old who can run a mile in less than four minutes. And, I uh, never could run a mile in less than four minutes when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think that will help me, Bobby. Well, <laughs> Oh, it could. It may. Mm-hmm. Except what about the rest of the body? It's still a 94-year-old man, you know. Well, they, they Does the heart it. take care of all of that? Yeah. <laughs> what about those tired old lungs? And... <laughs> now, I'll tell you what we'll do next. <laughs> You meant those tired old lungs. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, no matter how hard you try, people are always looking for something to laugh at that they shouldn't laugh at. You know that? Uh, you know, a lady wrote to me and she said, I know something you haven't done for two or three years. She said, you used to do it, and it was very effective. Uh, used to sing a little song. She had all the words for us. I had forgotten them completely. Uh, I did remember after I read it, you know. We used to sing a little song to the tune of Frère Jaca, you know. Da 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 da. Dormez-vous, dis-dis-dis-dis, dis-dis-dis, dis-dis-dis. Yeah, but we have our own words. And I thought the idea is not to wait 
send in your contribution, your name, your telephone number, and if you don't have a phone, say so. Send it in today. If you would just say, today is the day I must do it. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Do it now. That's the way the words go, you know. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll make my big announcement first. I can make it today. Oh, you mean about the other prize? On the Christmas show. Now, you know, our top prize on the Christmas show in the adult group is a beautiful Chevrolet station wagon from our dear friend Carl Gatchett, you know. Uh, who's, uh, this is his, what did he tell me, 16th year that he has given us a Chevrolet or a car, you know. Not a stripped down model, oh, a beautiful. The whole thing. You know, if you say that again, I'm going to faint. You say that every time I well, say, mention this you car, you always say, that. not a stripped down It makes me laugh. Well, I think of a strip teaser. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you why I do that. A lot of people give cars away, and they make a big fancy announcement. When the people get it, though, it doesn't have a radio, it doesn't have a heater, oh, it's got black wall tires, oh, little hubcaps. He has every, all, everything in there. The radio, the heater, automatic drive, automatic drive white wall tires, everything. Thing. Most beautiful model you can complete, exactly. Right. Now, <laughs> this is the top prize in our uh, adult group. Right. You see, this will go to an adult. Right. Uh, next to that will be the $1,500 cash from our good friends at uh, Fells, uh, Fells, Fells Company, you see. $1,500 cash. Oh. Wowie, would you like to win that? Oh, I should say I would. What would you do if you won $1,500? Pay a few little bills that have been laying there looking at me. In the bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Now... Today we announced, the reason we couldn't announce this before, this had to go through a lot of channels and so forth, and I would not announce it until I had it all in writing. Not that I didn't trust these darling men, I did. But I have to have all these things completely in writing, you know, ex exactly what it is. But we have now added to the Christmas show, the Holiday Hello show, the top prize in the teenage group. And you know what it is? It's a Comet two-door sedan. Oh. In the teenage group. Isn't that wonderful? And this is from the Lincoln Mercury dealers throughout this area. And they said they were so sorry that they hadn't gotten a ra You know, in a big company like that, you know, it has to go to this person for approval. And then the board had to meet and so forth. But imagine that now. Some teenager between the age of 13 and 19, or 20, 20 is our end of our teenage group, between the age of 13 and 20, will be the proud possessor on the Sunday before Christmas of a brand new Comet. And that's a darling car. It's a two-door sedan. Two-door sedan, and it'll be a beautiful car, I assure you that. So I want you to tell all of the teenagers about this, because many of them... Oh, I can't, I could never begin to even estimate the number of teenagers now who were once recipients of the Christmas oh, fund absolutely. years ago in the hospitals, you see. And they have a great, uh, we, we get many contributions from them. But add this little special note to them. Tell all your teenage uh, sons and daughters about this. I remember last year we had a, a car as the top prize in the teenage group, you know. And a young boy up in Columbus won it. And this boy was a boy who had had a lot of uh, trouble in his home, a lot of uh, hardship. This was like a new world opened up for this boy, you know? A lady wrote me yesterday and asked a question which you could answer very easily. She says that she has four children, and each of the four children wants to take a part of his allowance and donate it to the Christmas fund. And she wants to know if she can put the entire amount plus each of their names in one envelope and mail it in instead of sending it four separate uh, things. It would be much more simple if she would put them each on a separate piece of paper and put them all in one envelope. In the same envelope, yes. yes. Oh, yes, because that's we take that out of there, you see. Mm -hmm. And that's where we draw, you see, from what's inside of the envelope, not from the envelope itself, you she see. She thought it would be better that's than That's why I say inside, be sure you put all the pertinent information, your name, your address, your phone number, if you don't have a phone, or if you're going to be someplace else on Thanksgiving, put that phone number, or if you're going to be out on the Sunday of uh, uh, December 22nd, a different phone number, put that, and put the age of the child and the age of the teenager. How about checks and money orders now? Checks and money orders are made out to the Ruth Lyons Christmas Fund. That's the way the fund is banked in the bank, you know, and uh, that's the way they go through checks and money orders. And the address is Ruth Lyons, WLW, Cincinnati 2, Ohio, and down in the corner of the envelope, this does speed up the handling of the mail a great deal, put child, teen, or adult. If you'll do that, that will help us a great deal because, uh, oh, we're work the girls are working very, very hard, very, very hard, and we want to get as much mail open as possible before the drawing next Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. 
You, you should, you'd be surprised if you would see how excited everybody gets around here when we make these drawings. It's true. You know, we go down, a whole group goes down to this great big room, and uh, our, uh, our uh, building superintendent this year uh, fixed a remarkable room for us where we can have, we have big, uh, uh, big cartons like of the teenage uh, male names, the uh, children's names, the adult names. We have numbers of those, and that's all locked up carefully, you know, all the time. And then we go in there, and such fun as we have shuffling, and sometimes we dump them all out and walk among them, you know, so that even if your contribution came in two months ago or if it came in today, you have an equal opportunity of that name being drawn, you see. And then I let the girls who work on the fund do the actual drawing because I feel they're the ones who have done the work, you know, and... Uh, Boy, do they love to do that. They just love to do that. They reach in there, you know, and we, then we, put, we list every one of the gifts in an envelope, sealed envelope, print it on there, and then as the name is drawn, we don't know what's in the envelope. We just put them all in the line, we put the name opposite that, you see, and nobody knows who wins what. And the only people who know are Elsa and Mickey. Then they scuttle off up to the office, lock the door, and type, 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 sometimes till 8 o'clock at night to get that show ready for the next day, you and see. We so, we have our, so we have our paper. And we don't know till we come on the show who wins anything, you see. I'll never forget the year that um, Roger Neiser, who is uh, connected with the Kroger Company, who's a very dear mm -hmm. friend of mine, and I work with him very closely, and the first gift that we gave on the Holiday Hello Show was a color television set. And the name was Mrs. Neiser. <laughs> No relation at all. It certainly was. It was his was mother. It really? You're kidding. It was his or, no. It was his aunt. It was his aunt. <laughs> now, had I known that, I would have died. You know, I would have died all night mm -hmm. because people would say she knows him. <laughs> Maybe Herman might win some. Oh, Herman's feelings are hurt. Why? Oh, I hurt his feelings yesterday. Herman's a very sensitive man. Oh, I heard that. You made that remark at the end of the show. When, uh, when uh, what's his name, Henny Youngman said to me uh, something, I, he said something, somebody said something about me playing the organ. Yes. And he said, what? what'd you do with the monkey? And I said, I married, married him. him. Yes. <laughs> I, all I was trying to do was top Henny, you see, that's all. And I came home and Herman says, uh, how do you do? How are you? You know, I, I can tell when he's upset right away, you he know. He jumped up on the chandelier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was standing there with a big banana in his hand. <laughs> he said, oh, so I'm a monkey, am I? And he, oh, he really wasn't, Poor though. Man. But he was pretending like it. He likes to win a little sympathy now and then, you I know. I met his bowling partner the other night. One of his bowling partners, Dick Bray's brother, Bob. Oh, Bob Bray, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that Herman is really very nice when he's out, that you can rest assured that he never well, gets he better be. Trouble. I've given him enough training, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Shall we do this little tune? Maybe this will inspire people after the show is over today to get their contributions together or write their check or their, go and get their money order and put it in the mailbox today. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a little round of singing. And when I point... To this side, you start. When I point to this side, you start. When I point to the boys in the band, you start. Uh, now here's where it goes. I'll show you how it goes. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Do it now, do it now. For the little children, little waiting children. Do it now, do it now. Come on. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Do it now, do it now for the little children, little waiting children. They're singing right along with him. You start in the beginning, at the top. That's the way around goes, you know. It never ends. We can go on all during the show with this. Now, start again, girls. You did fine. A little louder, a little peppier. Not tomorrow, do it now.
up on a high note. You, you would. Loud, you yes. got to admit Don't they all wind up like you? You finally stop, and you keep saying, do it now, do it now, to everybody saying, do it now, and then you quit. All right, let's try that. Okay. Start again now. A little faster, too. Yeah, when we go like that, then not just keep saying, do it now, do it now. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Do it now, do it now. Not tomorrow, not the next day. on the show today. First of all, however, would you like to have that new Frigidaire range? Isn't that beautiful? Now, isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? That is the new 1964 electric range with the double ovens. This one has that beautiful door like the uh, flare range has, you know, that you can peek in, see what's going on. Both of these are the pull-out type ovens. I mean, they type... What'd you do with this? Jerry, I'm going to... They, they do everything in the world to me. Pull it out, just reach down in and clean it. Not, no, uh, you know, reaching back in the oven or anything. And, of course, uh, they also have, at Frigidaire, those wonderful splatter pan boil broilers, you know, that keep your oven very fresh and clean to begin with. All of the... Um, uh, here are the four cooking units up on top here. Two big ones, two smaller ones, and all of your controls here, which of course are remarkable. You can just turn this on, go away and forget it, and your whole meal is finished. You can uh, keep things on low simmer, or you can uh, get water to boil in almost instantly. It's remarkable. And then down here, if you notice, there's a great big drawer for your pots and pans to be stored. And we would like to suggest that possibly some of this anchor hocking wear might go very nicely if you had the new range, you see. Wouldn't that be beautiful with sure that? Would. Of course, here you have four pieces. There are really five all together. The great big casserole, the big skillet, the smaller skillet, the smaller casserole. And these also can be used, as you well know, as the saucepans. Now, if it's a saucepan, you could use it right on top of the range, hook the one little handle on there, and when you're through with it, just push one little button, and off she comes. Here's a smaller, uh, can be either a saucepan or a casserole. Five lovely pieces of anchor hocking ware with the uh, Fire King oven ware tops, you know, the lids you can see through. 
so easy to clean, so easy to cook with, and they will not break, they will not crack, they will not craze. Take them right out of the refrigerator or the freezer, put them right into the oven or on top of the stove. You have no problems whatsoever. We have one to give away today, and they all come packaged like this in the little box with the handle. These make lovely Christmas gifts, you know that? Sure will. And the hand. Uh, not with the handle. I didn't mean that. They come packaged like with the handle, handle on, the on the box. Package, right. Not this handle. You have to buy one handle that handles all the other that's five very products. That's priced. Two dollars is what this costs. And, uh, of course, it's made beautifully and will last a lifetime. So, if you want something lovely in a new range, now this, of course, is the new deluxe uh, uh, frigid air range. It uh, has the what we call the coved edges here, you know, no grease or anything can get down in there. Comes in lovely colors. Lovely Those color. of you who do not have Those color television, have color this is the most television. beautiful turquoise blue I've ever seen. Wouldn't you love to have a whole kitchen like that? You know, you can get the, the uh, frigid air refrigerator to match that and everything. Or you can get it in pink, you can get it in pale yellow, you can get it in light green, or the traditional white, whichever you prefer. And your uh, frigid air dealer has a complete line of beautiful ranges for you to choose from. If you don't want something quite that large, you can get the 30-inch one with the great big oven that holds six pies and all that sort of thing, you know. And uh, they have one for, they have a new one. We're, we haven't talked about that yet, but that is a beauty, too. In a, in a narrow one, but which has an upper and a lower oven. I'm not supposed to mention that, so don't tell them I told you about that, will you? But you go and see your Frigidaire dealer, and you'll see the most beautiful line for 64. And then don't forget, in order to cook and enjoy your cooking, you need lovely things to cook with. So we, uh, we recommend heartily the Anchor Hocking Cookware, the newest addition to this type of cookware, which I love because you can put it right on the table and serve from it, you know. And the most important thing is it is not expensive. It is very reasonably priced. Do you know whose birthday anniversary this is today? 20, what is this, 22nd? Right, November 22nd of, uh, of November. Hoagie Carmichael, one of the really great writers, I think, of, of, of American music, you know. Born in great standards. 1899. He's 64 years old today. One more year And to still go. a great entertainer, you know. Oh, yeah. Still a great entertainer. Don't you love to hear him sing? Oh, I love like, to hear him sing. Yeah. Old Buttermilk Sky and all those tunes, you know. Wasn't Troy cute yesterday? He really was. He, you know, he is a he. This is a very nice young man. It re, he really is. I was talking to uh, this man from Warner Brothers about Troy, and he said so many of these young people come out into, into Hollywood, and they get uh, they become pretty well known quickly. You know, they begin to make a pretty much money all at once and so forth. And he said they have such problems with them. You know, uh, they're not ready for that. But he said Troy is so such a gentleman at all times. They came to our house for dinner last night, and I tell you, I've never had a more enjoyable evening in my life. He can talk about anything. He went over the whole house from top to bottom. He loves early American furniture, you know. And he looked at everything. He asked about everything. And Callie and Pauline, I want to tell you, they, they served the dinner upside down. I'm telling you, you never saw such a mess as they had. What was Candy's state of Pauline's, oh, oh, Candy was numb. She was plain numb. <laughs> But Pauline says, you know, Miss Newman, that is a handsome, charming young man. I said, he really is. And he's a perfect gentleman at all times, you know. And uh, tonight you're going to be down there, huh? Right. Guess I who's coming? Candy. Guess who else? Herman. Guess who else? Mother. Right. I don't blame sure. you. Sure. Sure. You're going out tonight? I was up till 10.30 last night. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've got sense enough to stand up today. I'm going to try one more night, and then I'm going to collapse for the weekend, you know? I was talking to Troy this morning, and he said he's a little worried because uh, he hopes the teenagers know he will be there, and he hopes that all the ladies who watch you every day will tell their daughters and sons that he's, he's going to so be there. He's so handsome. He is he really, really is. darling. And he's going to answer questions, you know, from the teenagers and, and bring them up on stage with on him and stage. everything. He's a really nice young man. And that is a darling movie. Go along with the teenagers if they'll let you. Uh, go along with them. You'll enjoy this movie. It's light and it's gay and it's happy and it makes you feel real good, you know? Everybody gets a free autographed picture of Troy who goes there tonight. And I think they also are going to give some of his record as away, you know. Last, Live right. young. He's You're like the but oh, listen, that tune, that tune nearly drove me crazy yesterday. That went through my head all day long. What did you think of uh, Candy twisting on that tape we made yesterday? After yeah, your show? How about that? Oh, it was very good. I didn't know she could do that. I didn't either. She you know, uh, Candy is a. Uh, people think that I have been. Um, oh, I get letters. You know, you make a baby out of that girl. You know. 
Oh, I'd love to, but I can't do it. She has a mind of her own. She's a very independent, uh, self-sufficient young girl and a very delightful child. Now, I'm speaking of my own child, and I'm prejudiced, naturally. You should be. If you're but not she well. is the most darling little human being, you know. And she took uh, Troy and showed him all the pictures she has up of him, you know. And you know what, what impressed him more, more than anything? She baked him a big chocolate cake. And in the afternoon, he sent her some flowers. And he said, I hope the cake is chocolate. And luckily, she had baked the big chocolate cake. Isn't <laughs> that funny? Oh, she had a very nice time. She, she said to me, you know, she paid you a great compliment last night. She said to me, Mother, I like young men who talk to me like I'm a human being, who don't talk down to me, who are not too silly. And she says, you know, I think I have two favorites, Troy and Bobby. She loves Bobby, just loves Bobby. And, and uh, Bobby's been awfully nice to Candy. Uh, it hasn't been too easy for her at times, you know. Uh, people, some people just hate me, you know, you know that. So they try to take it out on her, you know. And I've had all my life to try to say to her, Candy, you are you, you are yourself. Whether they like me or not doesn't depend on how they treat you. But that's not easy for a child sometimes to face that, you know. That's true. That's very true. And I thought at first when she went to a college, this would be very difficult for her. She's just made her own way so beautifully and, and stands up for her own rights real nicely. She even uh, told a teacher that she didn't understand something the other day. I never dreamed that Candy would ever do that. She says, Mother, I just told her I don't get it. Yes. Well, I said that's what that's the teachers want you to do. You know, most people uh, who are known, such as Candy is known, and people like Troy, too, who are known, want more than anything else just to be treated as a human being. You know, Troy said person. that last night. He said that his, uh, his younger sister, he has a sister the same age as Candy, and I think he kind of thinks of them in the same way, you know, and that's why he can, because he, mm -hmm. he loves his sister. He's just crazy about his sister. And he said his sister, she doesn't uh, get as upset over things as he does, you know, when they have bad publicity and so forth, because he, he said she knows what I'm really like. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said she just doesn't pay any attention to it. Well, I think that's the way with Candy. Candy thinks I can do no wrong, I think. But uh, we've had a lovely life together, really and truly. I'm very grateful for it. And I have a dear little niece who, uh, whom I think just as much of. You know, she's a darling little girl. And uh, my sister and she have a nice relationship. And I think this is the most important. You know, I was talking to a cab driver on the way down this morning. I get all the problems. I get everything. This, I haven't seen this cab driver. He's a nice young man. He's 32. And I haven't seen him for, oh, I guess three or four months. I got in the cab and he was just beaming from here to here. And he says, guess what? I said, I don't know. He says, I got married two weeks ago. I said, you did? Now, I remember him telling me about how he lived with his grandfather. He's been very, he was very good to his grandfather. His grandfather was very ill. He finally passed away. Then he had a very ill brother, and he went and lived with them and helped to support that family. And then the brother passed away last Christmas. And I remember he told me all about that, how sad it was, you know. And he said, finally, he said, I, I, I realized that I could lead my own life. And he married a, a young girl who had two boys, one six and one seven. And he said, you know, this was a big undertaking for me, Miss Lyons. He said, I didn't know uh, whether they would uh, respect me. And he said, I had the one little boy, has, they have a trouble with him getting him to eat properly. And he said, I had to establish right away that if I did try to help, that the mother wouldn't interfere. And he said, he's just, and the, he was so happy we were running over the curves and everything. <laughs> we just had a wonderful ride down this morning. Like but you know, I buddy. was so pleased for him. I really was because I thought, well, here's a young man who has tried to do something good and he's, he's succeeding, you know. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of good people in the world. Those witches that we, sh uh, yes, you know, you say, they're, th those witches, oh. there, there are fewer of them than I realize, you know. <laughs> they really are. They're not nearly as many as you no, think there are. True. Unfortunately, that type of person is very often like publicity. The bad is louder than the good. That's you right. Know, yes. Yes. That's That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'll tell you what we're going to do about Hoagie Carmichael today. Um, do we have some nice prizes today, Bobby? Yes, we do. Very nice. I, I see we have a, a Puritron range hood over yes, there. Yes, and we have an Incinerator. That's our magic our number prize. Our Incinerator is a magic number prize. And we have an Iona hair dryer. An Iona hair dryer. And we have a lady's wristwatch from Lucien Picard. Well, now I'll tell you what let's do. Why don't we call about ten ladies up here and let them come up to the we microphone. Done that for a long no, we time. haven't. And let them read the little poem, and each poem will have something have something about a product in it, and also will mention a tune that was written by Hoagie Carmichael, and then the dear band will play that. You see, 
And uh, that way we'll have a little music along with the commercials. And in addition to that, you will win prizes. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have another play-like. Okay. We'll play-like. It's a week from yesterday. We'll tell them what they really win. But had it been Thanksgiving, this is what they... Oh, I have to do one thing before that. I have to get this so we can get this out of the way here. Your Kroger special. Uh, our Kroger special this weekend at all the Kroger stores is, are these wonderful Gold Crest chocolates. All kinds. Wonderful new brand of candy, new line of candy that all the Kroger stores are carrying. Peanut butter cups. Did you ever try these? Yes. Very, oh, very these good. are delicious. With milk chocolate? Absolutely. These are the famous mint wafers. Any one of these are de uh, are, is delicious. And if you buy any two packages and take along your little coupon from the Kroger newspaper ad, you get 50 extra top value stamps this weekend. And they do mount up, and this is the time to make them mount up. Now, I'll do one other thing so we can move everything away from our uh, board of gifts over here for Thanksgiving. How do you like this chair? Sit down in this, Bobby. That's a beautiful shade of a deep turquoise, isn't it? You know what they call that? A television chair. That's flex steel construction, and this uh, lovely covering here, it's partly covered in banlon and partly in a uh, leather, plastic leather, you see. Lean back. Does it look... <laughs> How long are you going to stay, Bobby? I may be here through guiding light. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Oh. So if the show, if the... Uh, if the television gets a little enervating and you're too tired, just lean back and drop off. Now Isn't that a beautiful chair? Now I know what we look like. <laughs> Through feet. Through feet. Beautiful chair. And that's just one of the many beautiful chairs that Plex Steel has to offer now. Along with, of course, Mr. Casey, you know, from Warner Brothers. He's such a cute man. And uh, at home, we have some of these chairs, the same type of chair that we have here. And he got one of those chairs last night. Now, of course, they've been on the road. They've been traveling. They were on airplanes. They, were, they slept at the airport in New York. He got in that chair, and I couldn't get him out. And I said, Casey, are you going to sit there all evening? He says, I have never sat in such a comfortable, delightful chair. Uh, I have two of these, and they're in a green, light green uh, band lawn covering. And I simply live in that one chair. This is my, this is where I sit, and I have a table where I keep all my work, you know. And it is really, you can swivel around, you know. This you pad is right in the right spot We back got there. to talking last night. What is it about rocking that's so comforting? And uh, Mr. Casey said, what about, uh, why did uh, President Kennedy, you know, take to a rocker? I think for more, more of course, in his case, uh, this doctor he had said that it kept his back sort of uh, mobile, you know. But I think it's a very soothing effect. Just kind of drift along, you know. I can think much better in a rocking chair than a straight chair. I'm no good at all in a straight chair. I'm not too good in a rocking chair, but I mean, uh, I think any of these beautiful pieces of flex steel furniture with the band lawn coverings will delight your soul, and you will have them for years and years to come because of the fine construction of the flex steel inner construction and the fine band lawn coverings. There are four dealers where you can see the complete line. The early American, like we have here, this is more modern over here. I think that's a beautiful chair there, that uh, television lounge chair. Anything you want for your living room, you can buy it at uh, Pat and Joe's here in Cincinnati, Cook Furniture up in Columbus, Ohio, the Mart over in Indianapolis, and Cook Furn er, um, Rock Furniture up near at Laura, Ohio, near Dayton. So see any one of these dealers for the complete line. Now, you call... Ten numbers, Robert. First of all, who, who has the magic number? The magic number today? Where is that? It's right here on the table. The magic number holder is Ruth Smith of Deer Park. Where's Ruth Smith? Ruth, come on here. Now, you're sure of a prize, Ruth. You have won the Golden Incinerator, you see. And had this been Thanksgiving, you know what you would have won? A complete kitchen. Oh. Now, you, you're getting the uh, Incinerator, you know. But in this complete kitchen from BAM Distributors, there is also an insincorator in there. But in addition, there's a beautiful new sink. There are four mica tops. There are the beautiful showering birch cabinets. There are the built-in ranges, uh, the built-in stove, uh, the dishwasher. Wouldn't you love to have that? All right, come up here and work for your, your insincorator now. Come on. Talk about coincidences. 
Which oh. card did you give her? Do you know which one? No, I don't. It's for Fells Cleaner, and on her card, she said, <laughs> Your Fells Cleaner is the mostest. In our fall cleaning at the church, I took my Fells Cleaner, and I want you to know our church is the cleanest church in town. The whole congregation is using Fells. Well, good for is you. And you got the Fells card? Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that a coincidence? All right, come on up here now. Uh, you go right over here and line up right here. You're first. What's next, Bobby? What number? What are you doing? Making butter or something? There we go. Oh, you're doing a whole lot at one time. Huh? Yeah, it keeps the noise down to a minimum. Mm-hmm. Number 106. 106. Where's 106? Right here. Lady back here in the lab, purple dress, all right? 24. Will you come down for, please. 24? 24, lady in black. You're the one to remind me, you know, to give the total. Don't forget now. 122. Right. Wait a minute now. Why don't I get this one, Bobby? All right. This is the second one. You're third in line. Yeah, she's third. And this one is second. All right, Bobby. What 122. Was the last one? 122. She's on her way. Will you give this to her? She comes by, please. 122. All right, go ahead. 54. 54. 54. 54. 54. Oh, the mother of 12. How about that? All right. This is your day. It surely is. 123. 123. 123. Lady back here. Will you give this to her as she comes down, please? All right. 52. 52. 52. 52. Where's 52? Right here. All right. Another one, Bobby. 37. 37. Oh, she came down the other way. (laughs) Wait a minute now. 50. Here's yours. Now, 52. Right. Take it easy. Take your time. You have all the time in the world. There you are. And 37 is right over here. 37 is over here. Give me two more, Bob. 68. Wait a minute. Let me see. Yeah. Two more, yeah. 68. 68 up here. Here you are. And 111. 111. 111. Here she is. Give me two more, Bobby. All right. Here you are. You're welcome. 111 was the last number called. 43. 43. 43. Who has 43 on her placemat? Another lovely lavender outfit. Isn't that pretty? And 27. 27. 27. Lady in purple. And another lavender. Well, isn't that beautiful? It's one of my favorite colors. Don't they look pretty? I should say. All right, now let me see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And Marion, here's one for you, but you can't win anything. I know. And Bobby, here's one for you, but you can't win anything. Uh, And here's one for me, and I can't win anything. uh, Now, girls, what you do, you simply walk up to the microphone, give your name and where you're from, and then read your little poem. And when you come to the name of the product... All of you girls at home and all of you here, just jot it down on your shopping list so you won't forget it this weekend. All right, our first lady. I'm Ruth Smith from Deer Park. That bottle of Fells household cleaner was one of my best buys. Now the house is clean as the air where the scarlet flies. Where the what fly? Scarlet. Skylark. Skylark. Oh, Skylark. Oh, yes, Skylark. Beautiful tune by Hoagie Carmichael. Fells household cleaner. Beautiful. Skylark by Hoagie Carmichael. Beautiful tune. All right, what is your name? I'm Mrs. Eichhorn from Westwood. He was staring at my frizzy hair. I like to have crawled in a hole. But instead, I tried Tony's sleek and smooth and sleek. He's mine now, heart and soul. Heart and soul. Remember this? Huh? This is a real favorite. Heart and Wait a minute. Hold on. Da 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 da. Heart and soul. Da 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 da. Manly. I, I met you. Something like that. Da 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 da. Dee dee dee. All right. What is her gift, Bobby? She has one from the Puritron Company, a range. Puritron good. range. Good. <laughs> no, 
you can keep that. Take it home and put it in your memory book. And what was her product? She wanted that. She wanted that. Right. What was her product? I forgot long ago. Tony Home oh, Permanent. Oh, Tony Home Permanent. For the, uh, the uncurly permanent, you know. We've talked a lot about this this week. In fact, we have talked a great deal about all of our products this week. So I'm going to just, you know, once over lightly today. All right? Our next lady. I'm Jenny Williams from uh, Northbrook and Mount Healthy. I must have washed that come out white. About this, I'm a crank. An instant fell does it, though we live on a lazy river bank. You live on a lazy river bank. Uh, a lace jug on all male stream for Bertha Sherwood. God. You put these in dreadful keys for me to sing, you know, because, oh, no, that's too low for me. I don't sing way down there. Da, da. I can go up high. Up a lazy river where the moon does sing. Wonderful. Fells naphtha, and you may see at some of your grocers uh, the boxes of Fells this weekend with the 14 cents off. Some of them may still have them, some may not. If you can get them, take advantage of this wonderful wash day product with the discount. What is her gift, Bobby? Mrs. Williams has won a Lucian Picard ladies' wristwatch. Now, I forgot to tell the last lady that had it been Thanksgiving, she would have won a trip to Florida for two people. <laughs> She, uh, she would have won a trip to Florida with $250 to spend, which is donated by the Tony Company. Uh, the trip will be to the Galt Ocean Mile Hotel, and what a wonderful week that will be down there in the Sunshine State. All right, now, wait a minute. Where, where'd she go? She's over here. But she win? She won the ladies' wristwatch by Lucian Picard, and she would have won $500 from the Puff Money Tree if it had been uh, Thanksgiving Day. Well, you, you can just watch your watch and see whether you win it next Thursday, huh? All right. Next. I'm, a I'm Mabel Kay from Shivet. Uh, flex steel with bandlon covering is a combination rare, which is what I will insist on when I buy my rocking chair. Good. That's what we were just talking about, the wonderful flex steel things. Old rocking chairs got me. Came by my side. Fetch me that. Well, that's my number. Old rocking chair has oh, had me for years. You know that? What is her gift, Bobby? She's one from Puritron and Air Purifier. Oh, that's nice. You'll love that. To take all the smokiness out of the house and the cooking odors. Oh, really? Well, you can use another one then. Use one in another room yes. in the house. And had it been Thanksgiving, she might have won. Let me see, Bobby. What might she have won on Thanksgiving? Oh, I would say the sterling silver flatware from oh, Daily Donuts. Oh, this beautiful set nice of gift. sterling silver from our good friends at Daily Donuts. Pal, uh, Paul Palazzola. Pal Palazzola. I was going to say. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait till you see this. It is so magnificent, and it's for 12, and it is solid sterling silver. And I got to pick out the pattern, and it is beautiful. It really is, if I do say so myself. All right, our next lady, mother of 12. I'm Esther Meyer of Westwood. Let's yes. close her, Esther, to the microphone. After a smoky party, I get out the Lysol spray, and soon the room is just as fresh as one morning in May. One morning in May. Remember that beautiful Hoagy Carmichael. Yes, I did, too. I knew he wrote that, yes. And, of course, this wonderful Lysol spray with all the coals now. Girls, the show is up here. Will you shut up, please? That woman hasn't shut her mouth since she's been in here. Now, I, would you like to do the show? 
when I didn't get to come in June, I was in a wheelchair. Well, and you're all right again. Yeah, I'm I had to give my ticket away, but I was glad because my daughter was here. You were supposed Maine, to come in June. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you're all right yeah. again. No, I'm walking with a cane. Well, well you're, you're getting that. around, though. Yeah, What'd you do, I'm break your hip or something? I broke my knee, and then I had a staph infection. I should have taken some of your good spray with me. The Lysol And then I would have got that staph infection. Yeah, you, there you are. It'll call, it'll kill staff and st- uh, the other germs, you know, sep- streptococci. Oh, these words, you know, they're so hard. But this is a wonderful, wonderful spray, and if there is a cold in the house or just to keep the air fresh in the home is a very important thing. And you know, so many people, I mentioned this one day on the air, and ever since I mentioned it, they have just been uh, more letters about it. People who have taken this to people in the hospital to let them spray their room and keep the air fresh, you know. Because sometimes in the hospital you smell ether and you smell other medicines from coming around in the hospital, and this will freshen the room of the patient, you see. This is the wonderful Lysol spray disinfectant. What is her gift, Bobby? From Arabesque, a lovely plaque entitled The Knight in Armor. It's really beautiful. Oh, let's turn him around. Let me see him. Yeah, he's got a bow on his neck. Now, who put that bow on there? That doesn't go on there. They dress nice, too. Oh, knights don't wear ribbons around their necks. Take that off of there. Had it been Thanksgiving, she would have won what, Bobby? $500 cash from the Fells Company. $500 cash. You could use that with 12 children, couldn't you? Good. Who's our next young lady here? Mrs. Fahey from Westwood. Mrs. Fahey? That's right. All right. New soft keeps your clothes looking lovely, though you have but few. And that softness is appealing. I like the nearness of you. The nearness of you. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me. Oh, no. It's just the nearness of you. Oh, I love that tune, don't you? Beautiful. And you'll love New Soft also. It puts the newness back in the fabric, cuts down on the wrinkles, cuts down on the ironing time, keeps clothes soft and new looking. New Soft. What is her gift, Bobby? From Ship and Shore, something that she can keep lovely with New Soft. Five blouses. Five blouses from Ship and Shore. That's a nice gift. All right, our next lady. What is your name, please? Well, I come over a little bit closer. You come up a little bit to the microphone. What is your name? Minnie Petrov. Minnie Petrov. Where are you from, Mrs. Petrov? From Ellesmere, Kentucky. Ellesmere, Kentucky. Kentucky. All right. Can you read that, Miss Petrov? I always shop at Kroger Stewart. The wonderful bargains that are fun. I I love that in under the old buttermilk sky. Old buttermilk sky at Kroger. They have all kinds of skies over Kroger, including old buttermilk. Oh, Buttermilk Sky, great favorite. Oh, you're singing that, huh, Jack? Work. You can't do any work, so you watch me every day. Well, I work like a hospital. dog. I've been in the hospital. You've been in the hospital. But I'm glad you got to come today. What is your gift, Bobby? From Dorsey, something very lovely, a bottle of oh, their intoxication perfume. a lovely perfume. bottle of intoxication perfume. You'll love that. Congratulations to you. Be careful now. What would her gift have been had it been Thanksgiving Day, Bobby? A travel case from Nor Soup filled with $500 oh. cash. You came here just a week too soon, but we may phone you on Thanksgiving. Help her to get in there, will you please? All right. Our next lady, what is your name? Mrs. Omar Everhart of Deer Park. Deer Park. All right, Mrs. Everhart. Georgia fixed this cream at casseroles for this gal cooking snow grinds. And man, her meals are delicious. I've got Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind. Somebody here from Georgia, huh? Georgia!
that's one of the first tunes that Hoagy Carmichael wrote and became famous for. Cremets, elbow macaroni. Put that on the shopping list for the weekend, girls, all of you. You'll love it. It has a delightful flavor. It has a delightful quality. It's never starchy or gummy. And it uh, provides many delightful dishes in salads or casseroles for you. Cremets, elbow macaroni. What's her gift, Bobby? Also in the perfume department from Nettie Rosenstein, a bottle of Nettie Rosenstein perfume. Oh, it's just delightful. Oh, this is a beautiful one. There's a store here in Cincinnati where they spray that around all the time. You know, Marion? And you walk in that store and you, oh. Oh, it's just delightful. It's a wonderful fragrance. You sniff all day, yes. All right, what is your name? Hi, this is Robert Lubering from Mount Airy. From Mount Airy. And I would like to say, please, that this verse doesn't suit me, but it does one of the members of our party. Oh, really? Let's hear all this. Right. Must pick up some jars of beech nut, and there's a good reason why. A baby's coming to visit us, and it's vital to small frogs. Oh, I see you did get the wrong poem, didn't you? Yes, you did. Small fry with your dead mother. Now, which one of your group does this suit? She's the second one with, next to the girl in the black hat, and she expects her baby in about ten days. Oh, no. Have her sit very quietly, please. Yeah. Very quietly. We've been uh, taking good care of her. You've been taking good care of her. Mm -hmm. Let's give her the Beech Nut Baby Food uh, gift package for one thing. And you have one, Bobby. From Hank's Craft, a Vapo Magic, which also is very nice. This is a wonderful thing. When Candy had this very bad cold, we used the Vapo Master, you know. It, uh, you, it breathes in the fumes, and that moist yeah. air relieves that uh, congestion. Let's give our friend back here, who's about to have a young uh, addition to the family, the proper start for that family. Give me the top two, Jerry, and the book and everything. This is our little gift package from the makers of Beech Nut Baby Food. And in it are some of the cereals, some of the first foods that that little baby will start on, you know. And these are the most babied foods in the world. The finest products, the finest way of packaging in the new wide mouth jars, and the nutrition and the delicious flavor that babies will like. Uh, uh, don't get up. I'll hand it to you. Yes. Congratulations. I hope everything goes real well with you. What if you'd have twins? Would you be happy? Yes. Would you? Good. Is this your first baby? Your second. Good. Well, feed it on the beach now. It'll, everything will go fine. All right, our next lady. You are? This is John Jager from Newport. This is J John Jager, Jager, from, Jager from Newport. Oh, right. Miss, Mrs. Jager, okay. With two gorgeous Betty Crocker cakes in the freezer, I'm living. I worked ahead for next week because next week is Thanksgiving. It's true. Thanksgiving. He wrote a tune called Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. wrote this years ago. How many remember this? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, now I'm living. Life is one sweet song. Da, 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 da. Goes awfully high. He puts them in the wrong key for me every single time. But uh, remember now, next week you will be busy. You'll have company and these wonderful, rich, luscious, creamy Betty Crocker cakes that are always moist, always rich, always fine flavored, fly, fine textured. These can help you a great deal in preparing for any holiday season as well as during your weekly uh, menus, you I see. I made the spice and apple. Did you finally make a spice finally and apple with the raisins in it? Yes. Isn't that delicious? Sure. Delicious. That's the newest addition to the Betty Crocker line of fine cake mixes. Spice and apple with raisin. Herman's crazy about that, too. He likes that. I'm so used to yes. it. Rut, I think it make mostly chocolate. Yes, I think uh, most of us do. But that is a delicious Great. cake. And if it comes from Betty Crocker with a big red spoon, you can depend upon its moistness and richness and fine flavor. What's your gift, Bobby? From Iona, a hair dryer. Oh, and I own a hair dryer. That's a nice gift to have. And had it been Thanksgiving and we were calling you, she would have received what, Bobby? From Niagara of Southern Ohio, a Niagara Cyclo Massage Chair. Oh, that'll chair. be a wonderful gift for somebody, that beautiful Cyclo Massage Chair that brings so much health and goodness into your home, you know, and relaxation. All right, our first lady in lavender. What is your name? Well, I'm not reading this for myself. I'm reading it for my mother. Oh, She's I... a little bit shy. She oh, has arthritis and I like see. All right, you read it for your mother. On Thanksgiving morn, when chimes sound from the nearby steeple, a couple of bowls of Kellogg's will arouse two sleepy people. Yes, remember this cute tune, Two Sleepy People? We are da -da -da -da, got our hands together. Two sleepy people, delight, but not much to say. 
What do you do, stay for breakfast? Huh? We have Kellogg, huh? Kellogg cereals. Now, with the weekend coming up, you know, a nice big uh, Sunday breakfast is in, uh, a must. And, of course, the Kellogg cereals supply wonderful cereals for every member of the family. The Corn Flakes, the Special K, any one of their cereals is top quality, beautifully packaged to bring you the cereal at its peak of, of crispness and freshness. What is her gift, Bobby? From Prince Machabelli, a bottle of their perfume. Oh, it's another delightful mm-hmm. perfume. Prince Machabelli. If it had been I think it's called Wind Song. Yes, it, it is. Yes, huh? beautiful perfume. If it had been... Uh... Will you put that down before you drop it, Jerry? Just take it, put it, put it back where you got it. Tell you... If it had been Thanksgiving, she would have won $500 cash from the makers of Gleam Toothpaste. From the makers of Gleam Procter Toothpaste, had it been Thanksgiving. You girls all came a little early, but you still have an opportunity because your names are all in here now, aren't they? With your contributions today, and we could call you as easily as the next person you see. So don't let anybody use that telephone next Thursday between 12 and 1.30. Don't let anybody call you if you have any important things to do, uh, phone calls to make. Make them before 12 or after 1.30 next Thursday. Keep your telephone line open for business. Oh, that's that other commercial. That's right. Now, what is your name? Lois Dixon from Northbrook. Lois Dixon. You've completely run out of Skippy again. Why shouldn't I scout a mutter? I get along without you very well, but not without peanut butter. (laughs) True. I get along without you very well. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. Of course I do. Except when my One of the great tunes of all time. Beautiful. You know who I'd love to hear sing that? John Gary. Yes, that's his kind of song. That would be the type of song he could sing. He has the most beautiful voice. He has a beautiful voice. He'll be back to visit next week again. And the Four Saints will be back next week. Yes. Oh, we have a lot of nice guests coming here to visit with us. You can't afford not to tune in here. You miss a good show every day, I think. But um, you didn't see John? No, but I, I hear his album all the time. It's really getting played oh, quite yes, a bit. Oh, yes, he has a fine album out now, you know, and he's a darling boy. He's such a handsome boy. Just and a nice he boy. couldn't miss. A really mm-hmm. nice boy, you know. Now, she mentioned Skippy Peanut Butter. We gave the lady with the 12 children one jar. But it even comes in, I think that was a big size jar we gave her, wasn't it? Once around the table. Yes, right. once around the table for the 12 children. But... Uh, The thing about Skippy is it's made from the finest, highest quality peanuts. And it is so creamy and so delicious that down to the very last smidgen, you'll find that there's no drying out of this peanut butter, no loss of flavor. It never becomes over oily. This is a a secret that the Skippy peanut butter people have developed, and good for us that they have, right? Now, she isn't prize. What did she win, Bobby? From the Parker Pen Company, one of their fine rocket pens. These are oh, really nice. Oh, this is a beautiful new pen made with a, a um, stainless steel uh, po- uh, point, like mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and guaranteed to write for a whole year. Wow! You know that? No, I didn't know, but it's good. What enough. is yours, Mary? And you can't win anything, but yeah. play like it's Thanksgiving. All righty. I'll get some royal chocolate with him. Pie's a must, and to make it really romantic, I'll sprinkle it with stardust. Oh, you like this one. If you'd ask about a uh, hundred people what their favorite song is, I imagine that about uh, maybe 75% would say Stardust. And I can't stand it. Now explain that to me. 
This song never did do a thing for me. Now, why? Oh, we all like the words things. never made any sense to me at all. I never could figure out what in the dickens he was talking about. Beside a garden wall, stars are when stars are bright, you, you, were in my you were in my arms. Mitchell Parrish wrote the words. Of course, the tune, but even the tune does nothing for me. It just jumps around. Da -de -a -de -a -de -a -de -a -de but most people love Stardust. Huh? I know. They always like it. How many say that is their favorite song? One of your favorites, huh? One of your favorites. Do you have a favorite, really? A real, honest, goodness favorite? Who has? What's your favorite? Tenderly? Oh, I like that, too. That's another one that's... How about you? Body and Soul? Tia, 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 tia. Oh, I love that, too. Those lyrics oh. you're making up are great. What's yours? Some enchanted. I have so many favorites. I, I do could too. never decide. I, I love Climb Every Mountain. I love this. I love... Um, all, I love everything from... Um, uh, sound of music. I really believe that my favorite song of all is. No, not I Love Paris. No. I really believe that my favorite song is I Believe. Really? I really do. Or possibly right close to it would be uh, Hello, Young Lovers. Oh, I love that. Song. Love that. Song. That verse. Is just, oh. Sing that right now. Sing oh. that right now. Sing that. <laughs> Ready? Remember that verse you and Clifford have so much trouble yeah. with? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> you know, I, I, this, oh, this is one song that I can go right back to my youth with. You know, I can remember when I was young when I hear this. And that's a hard thing to do. That's a long way back. I hate to hear this jazz. Oh, yes. I like it. Uh, I don't like a jazz. Uh-uh. Sing this, Mary. And I just love this song. It doesn't matter. Sing in five flats. I like it better in five. When I think of Tom, I think about a night when the earth smelled of summer and the sky was streaked with white and the soft mist of England was sleeping on a hill. I remember this and I always will. There are new lovers now on the same silent hill, looking at the same blue sea. And I know Tom and I are a part of them all, and they're all a part of Tom. Because I'm alone. 
to go down the street to see a boy hoping you would see him. Huh? Well, no, I haven't. Oh, I don't mean you, Bobby. <laughs> Actually, I'm no, a 104. I have a new heart. When you get a crush on a boy, you know, and you think, oh, I'll walk down the street. He won't be there, but you know he will be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have lived. I and aren't women lived. terrible plotters, though? Oh, oh certainly. certainly. Certain you have to be. Oh, you have right. to plot to get the man chases a woman until she catches him. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful song. That is a beautiful, beautiful song. song. Now, sing the other one. I'll really break down. I might as well have a good cry on Friday. I haven't had one all for two weeks. <laughs> sure. what was Sing, I believe. Oh, oh yes. All right. She Sing, I believe. The other day was great. If you'll promise that you'll buy all the rest of the products, I'll just mention them by name because I don't want to do a commercial after that because I'm going to be in, in absolute hysterics. Well, that was dedicated to Royal Pudding. Royal Pudding to make the wonderful chocolate pies. Thanksgiving meal. And also to the wonderful products uh, put out by... Um, the con people, you oh, know, sure. all those wonderful uh, luncheon meats and all the good things that they prepare for us so that we can eat better for less, and they package them so beautifully. They come to you in the beautiful little packaging that keeps Wait. all the freshness and flavor in there. Uh, also, for Folgers coffee, for goodness sake, don't run out of Folgers over this weekend. If you make it uh, in the percolator or if you make it in the uh, instant type, you'll make a finer cup or a finer pot of coffee every time if it's Folgers that goes into that pot of coffee. And also, oh, we say goodbye today to Instant Lemon. Oh, really? Yes, they'll be back again, but uh, right now, you know, they feel uh, that most of their use is in the summertime, making iced lemon tea. drinks in the iced tea and so forth. And yet we find that with the, we're using it on the fish, using it on salads, using it to make pies and things of that kind, you still use the wonderful flavor of instant lemon crystals. So although we won't be talking about them for a few months, you won't forget them, will you? You'll continue to buy these wonderful instant lemon crystals in the jar or in the little boxes, the little packages, uh, which contain three envelopes, and each one has the equivalent of the juice of two lemons. Now, the only other thing that I have to worry about, or don't have to worry about, because this is one thing I never have to worry about, is a reminder to be sure and have plenty of Coca-Cola on hand for the weekend. Now, there's going to be a lot of good football games. Your husband will be home there. The young people will be watching. Uh, oh, there's going to be a show on this weekend, Bobby. Um, uh, Mr. Wilson, who is the president yes. of ABCO, you know, uh, which owns WLW, he went to Russia with a, a group of businessmen, mm -hmm. And uh, one of our men here from our, uh, our documentary department went over to New York and had an interview with him and made some tapes and some, uh, uh, took some movies and things of that kind. And he's going to tell about his reaction to many of the things in Russia, the way the people live and, and uh, the food problems and the, the, the business problems. And they're going to show this on WLW television on Sunday. Now, the times are a little bit different in some of the areas. Here in Cincinnati, it'll be on at 6 o'clock right. in place to meet the press. Uh, Columbus in Columbus five. and Dayton, it will be on from 5 to 5.30. Dayton is 5.30 till 6. Oh, Dayton is 5.30 to yes, 6, and, and Columbus is 5 to 5.30. And Indianapolis, it's 10.30 to 11. 10.30 to 11. So it's a, it's a very interesting program. You know, it's an it's a interesting thing to me. Uh, I haven't traveled too widely, but where I have gone, I have seen so many things, and I have come back and said certain things, you know. And some people took issue with me on some of them, not all, but some. But eventually, so many of these things have come to pass. You know, the big show on last week about the tremendous build-up of West Germany. You remember? Did you see that show? Tremendous show, Project 20. The very thing was said right on that show that I said. No, this was not on, on Project 20. This was on um, Wide World, uh, Wonderful World, wasn't it? 
Um, I said, I admire these people for their determination, but I fear the rise of too much power in West Germany. I really do, because this is a country, despite the fact that Hermann's a German, he is, and despite the fact we have, many of us have German ancestry, you know, I don't happen to have, but many do, and I don't uh, hold that against them at all. But this is a country that somehow, when, when they once get up, you know, th there's that military initiative again. And I think we have to watch this. I really do. I don't think that the young people want any problems like that. And I don't think the people who lived through the last war want it. But there are still living in Germany today, in my opinion, the remnants of the Nazi party. And they were raised on this belief, you know? They were brought up to believe this. And these ideas are not that quickly quelled, you see. Men who would be like about my age. Exactly. Example, because they, they were all raised in the youth movement, the, the Nazi movement. Right. And I think we should, uh, we should recognize this country and help them and everything. But we must also be on our guard at all times. You were talking about Coke as you got into that for having it on hand. How do how, how I get from Coke to West Germany? Well, you were saying there's a lot of good things to watch on TV, but you didn't tell us why. And it's so that you can watch and enjoy Coca-Cola. Well, How's anybody knows that, Bobby. What's sure. the matter with you? Get you? everywhere. That's right. right. The only place we couldn't buy. Right. The only place we couldn't buy was in Russia. You can buy right. plenty of it in Germany, West Germany. Truth. Not East Germany, but Coca-Cola, the wonderful drink for all time. Come on, Marion, sing I Believe. Maybe if we all just kind of believe real hard, the Christmas fun will make it this year. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray. Someone will come to show the way. I believe. I believe. I believe above the storm, the smallest prayer. I believe that someone in the great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a On my knees, isn't it? We can't get our phone call through. We can't get our phone call through? Uh, no, we're trying to get in touch with Mrs. Wilbur Eppy of Epley Avenue, Zanesville, Ohio. The line has been busy, so we'll keep trying after Who's that show. woman talking to, do you suppose? <laughs> I don't know. It's an adult call today, and, and when we got in touch with her, she'll win a transistor radio with a carrying case from New Maid, plus a set of linen crest monogram towels, plus a swing-away electric cat opener. Oh, three lovely gifts today. Right. And she's on the telephone. Isn't that ridiculous? Now, how about our waving girls, huh? Now sit up nice and straight. Are there any little folks in the audience who might not be seen? She'll be all right right there. Any little ones over here? Well, we have one little girl here today. I miss the children, so you know. In the summer, we have so many of them that come. And uh, I kind of miss them, you know. What's, what are you doing walking around with the royal gelatin? We didn't get a shot of this, and they want everybody to see how pretty that box is. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of in my life. Is if anybody doesn't know what 
looks like. Right, the family size and the regular size. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Stand up, rise up. Our Christmas total today for the Christmas size is $160,524.70. Thank you very much. She didn't forget. Let's have the last three rows stand over here. We'll make the colored tape of all of you and look up nice and uh, sit up nice and straight and look right at this camera here and we'll show you the colored tape immediately after the show. All right, let's go. Let's wave to the folks who are watching. Say hello to the folks listening in. We want you to see. We hope you agree. We really are lovely on color TV. We wish you were with us. We want you to know we're having a ball on the show. So we wave you a great big hello. The total in the Christmas fund as of today, November 22nd, is $160,524.68. That we're finally here at the show. And so we wave you a great big hello. Hello. Have everybody in there. Frank Pierce, come forward. Well, uh, look at the weather forecast now for the weekend. Rain. It says rain. Hooray. Rain and cold. Rain and, rain and colder, a high of 55 and a low of 55. I mean, a high of 55, uh, yes. Frank, are you confused again? A low of 55 and a high of 55. No, temperatures will start dropping this afternoon with the rain coming in. They'll go right on down by midnight, about 55 at that time, and keep right on going colder tomorrow. So it's and right rain. on down. So really? The low, honest to goodness, wet rain, water rain? Wet rain, and finally into some snow on the lakes during the weekend. Saturday will turn off quite cold. We'll be down in the 20s and 30s in northern Indiana. And that will be coming across our area on Sunday. So very cold coming up this weekend compared to what we've had so far. Turn up the furnace, huh? Right. Thank you, Frank. Thank you all. And don't forget to make your contributions this weekend. Goodbye, everybody. Right the This is the nation station, WLW in Cincinnati, your clear channel service. Young lady, enjoy the challenge of an important role in the operation of our mighty Navy. The Navy Wave serves with pride, knowing she is winning the respect of her friends, her community, and her country. In just a few decades, she has become a Navy tradition, playing a key part in naval operations the world over. Find out for yourself about the proud tradition, the bright career that is yours as a Navy Wave. Eastern Standard Time, 1.30. NBC Radio News on the Hour, brought to you by Winds Friction Proving Products to correct and prevent car trouble from radiator to gas tank. Now here is Martin Nagronsky, NBC News. President Kennedy denounced critics of his foreign policy today as prone to confuse rhetoric with reality. On the second day of his Texas tour... The president used a Dallas speech to contend that those who advance seemingly swift and simple solutions to every world problem will end in endangering the nation's security. Though the president didn't mention Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater by name, there was no doubt his remarks were aimed at the man who is now regarded as the front-runner for the Republican presidential nomination. Acting Commerce Secretary Franklin D. Roosevelt, Jr. has testified to the Senate Banking Committee that the U.S. will have to hurry its decision on selling surplus wheat to the Soviet Union as the Russians have now set a May 21st deadline for beginning shipments. Roosevelt argued against the proposal of South Dakota Senator Munt to bar government-sponsored credit for wheat purchases by any communist nation. 
He contended this restriction would bar U.S. businessmen from getting a fair chance to win a part of Russia's annual $4 billion of trade with the free world. At the United Nations in New York, the 17 member states of the presently postponed Geneva Disarmament Conference voted to resume negotiations at Geneva next January 21st. And more news after this from Winds of Friction Proofing. Carefree driving begins with a can of wind and a can of wind today. Did it happen this morning? Did you step on the gas and finally realize that the pep and zing your car used to have is gone? Sort of takes the joy out of driving, doesn't it? Well, there's a very good answer to your problem. It's called Wins Friction Proofing. Wins Friction Proofing restores a healthy measure of the pep your car has lost with age. It increases power and gas mileage, makes starting easier on cold mornings. But best of all, Wins Friction Proofing penetrates the surfaces of the moving parts inside your engine. It smooths and seals these parts to hold engine wear to an absolute minimum. Next time you stop for gas or service, add a can of Wins Friction Proofing to your crankcase. Your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. So add a can of Wins today. Here again, Martin Nagronsky. A two-day conference between West Germany's Chancellor Erhard and France's President de Gaulle has ended, and a report from NBC's Bernard Frizzell in Paris. West German Chancellor Ludwig Erhardt made plain here today the German government's reliance upon the United States for its defense against the threat of Soviet aggression. That was the note on which Erhardt wound up his two-day visit here to President de Gaulle. The French were reportedly careful not to present to Erhardt a choice between themselves and the United States. But the Germans were said to be astonished at the sharply critical attitude of the French toward American policy. A joint communique called for all necessary efforts to get the common market moving forward again and to increase trade with the United States through the forthcoming Kennedy round of negotiations for tariff reduction. But no concrete agreements were announced. This is Bernard Frizzell, NBC News, Paris. Democratic Senator George McGovern of South Dakota, home state of the Fisher Quintuplets, has a letter from a constituent that he finds hard to answer. The constituent writes that he doesn't mind a bit all the gifts to the Fisher family, but that he feels he's being unfairly treated despite his similar circumstances. I've got five children, too, he complains to Senator McGovern, and just because mine came one at a time, no one has given me a cent. Michigan's Governor George Romney insisted today at the Midwest Governor's Conference in Omaha that he is not seeking the Republican presidential nomination next year. This is Martin Agronsky, NBC News, Washington. When your child is sick with a cold or flu, remember what doctors recommend. Bed rest, plenty of fluids, and aspirin to reduce fever and relieve pains. When you give orange-flavored Bayer aspirin for children, your child will feel better fast. And knowing he feels better, so will you. Each tablet is the one and a quarter grain dosage doctors recommend for children. And it gives you such confidence to know you're giving the best. So always, orange-flavored bear aspirin for children. This has been NBC News on the Hour. Listen again on the Hour for NBC Radio News brought to you by Bear Aspirin for Children. Emphasis adds to your listening enjoyment weekdays on the NBC Radio Network. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, November 22nd. Welcome to the Tune Pipe. Fred Bernard and Little Abner here until 3 o'clock. It would appear to be another one of those gray and overcast days with some rain falling around the tri-state area. Cloudy skies to continue with the showers off and on again, that type of day. Be a little windy this afternoon, too, with highs in the upper 60s. While we're at it, we'll get right to the forecast. Present temperature is 58 here in Cincinnati and the relative humidity at 85%. 
Um, Indianapolis has rain in 58. Dayton has rain, 65 there. Columbus, 65. Louisville, 68. Lexington, 69. Huntington, 69 degrees, and they're all reporting cloudy skies. Leading edge of the rain is showing on the radar from near Toledo to Dayton to Andersonville, Indiana, to mid midway between Louisville and Evansville. Now you have it all in your mind. This place is the eastern edge about 40 miles west of Cincinnati. The rain is spreading eastward 15 to 20 miles an hour. We may have a few sprinkles in advance of the main rain area, which falls mainly on the plain, but that's next week. This week, Little Abner, and we'll be in dog patch momentarily. WLW is the only station permitted by the Federal Communications Commission to broadcast on 700 kilocycles in this country by international agreement. It's the responsibility of WLW to provide service to many thousands of people who live either in rural communities or on farms or in towns not large enough to support its own local radio station. For many years now, WLW has attempted to meet its responsibilities and obligations to provide this service. It's... Management, farm department, and staff earnestly solicit your suggestions as to how our service might be improved, either in the field of entertainment, news, or information that's important to you. Your comments and suggestions will certainly be appreciated. They'll receive the careful and thoughtful consideration of all of us here at the nation's station. We ask that you address them to Steve Crane, General Manager, WLW in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now to Dog Patch USA, and before we get the proceedings underway... We'll have to stand by here just a moment. There may be something happening. Yes, there is. There's a bulletin just handed me from Dallas, Texas. An unknown sniper fired three shots at President Kennedy. This is uh, in connection with President Kennedy, who is now touring Texas, as you know. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how this reads. Dallas... An unknown sniper fired three shots at, and then there are five letters, P-M-O-U-X, then a flash, Kennedy's name is misspelled, flash again, and at the bottom of this headline it says, Kennedy, seriously wounded. We will, of course, be awaiting further details on this story, so please stand by. This report just in from Dallas, Texas, an unknown sniper firing three shots, evidently at the presidential party while they were touring Texas, at the bottom of this, it says, Mr. Kennedy has been seriously wounded. We will, of course, bring you details as they are received. And in the meantime, we'll go to Dog Patch. This is the overture to Little Abner, Lehman Engel, and Orchestra. Here is a bulletin from the WLW Comics newsroom. A late bulletin from Dallas, where three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade today in downtown Dallas. No casualties reported at first. However, the latest flash indicates uh, President Kennedy...